Hey guys, so uh, y'all might not know this about me, but I am a big Naruto fan. And when I heard Naruto ended, I was like, whoa, you know, um, I don't keep up with it like as much as I used to. But I used to, I, I would see what's going on here and there. I, used to, I mean, I used to love some Naruto. And when I heard the ending, I said, oh my gosh, I have to read this. And so I read the manga chapter and I'm like, I'm like blown away because he really summed up. He did something that most animes don't it was an actual ending and i freaking loved that because i was like it actually ended now huge spoilers if you have not read this before this is the end of naruto so if you don't know anything about it i'm about to spoil everything so i want to talk about everything so it, it is i was a big naruto hinata fan i wanted this to happen i did not want sakura to be with naruto that was something that i did not want and i really thought that the, the writer was going to put them together because she's the lead woman he's the lead guy no, they give it to st Naruto ends up with Hinata. I could not believe it. I was so freaking happy. I was like, yes, they have two kids. Their his name, his son's name is Bolt. He's got a daughter named Himawari, which I love because that's the name in Holic. I I love the anime Holic. That's like, oh my gosh, it's Himawari, which means sunflower. And I was like, yes, he ends up with Hinata. And for me, that made me so happy. Uh, Sakura ends up with Sasuke. I mean, I feel like Sakura, you know, I, I think she kind of gets what she deserves in her own way. Because even now, Sasuke's not with her. Like, Naruto's with Hinata. We see him in the last chapter with his family. Where Sakura's got what she's always wanted. But her daughter's obviously damaged. I mean, she's a new... I mean, somehow they managed to make Sakura's daughter more annoying than Sakura. She has just the look of going to be in everybody's business. And she already doesn't like uh, Naruto's son. But she kind of does like him. And I'm like... Okay, I don't like her at all, but I kind of like how he drew her. She so has Sasuke's eyes. Uh, her daughter's name is Solid, uh, something like that. It was it was weird, but her dad's not there at all. Her dad's off traveling, and so I feel like Sakura's just home cleaning the house. And I'm like, yeah, you know, it's kind of what you get, Sakura. I was never a Sakura fan. I know she has a lot of fans out there, but Sakura was so mean to Naruto. I was never a fan of her, but I did love Hinata. She got what she wanted, and um. It was it was not the it was not a perfect ending, but I loved it. The the pairing was not bad because okay, some of the pairings I love, some pairings I thought was weird, like Eno and Sai, it was kind of I can see that kind of happening because Sai at one time called Eno beautiful and Sakura was like totally pissed. So I guess, you know, hey, Sai is kinda of like the same equivalent of Sasuke and for their their kind of like Eno and Sakura always was in a rivalry. So to give Sakura Sasuke I means she won. So I guess the writer wanted to kinda of give Eno a consolation prize. You got you got Sai, you know, he's the he weird, but he's got the kind of cute look, the black hair, the pale face, you know, whatever. He's kinda of got that look that Sasuke was so appealing, you know, for. So she kind of kinda of won too. Like I don't know. At least she got a good second place. And um what else? It was so much going on in that last chapter. Uh, Neji stayed dead. I'm, <laughs> I'm kind of sad about that. I really was hoping he would bring her him back to life. I was a big Neji fan. And uh, Neji, like, the second time Neji died, I was like, come on, bring him back. But they ain't bring him back. What, what bothers me about time skips are... All right, for Nar Naruto, some like he's about 10 years old. Meaning, only about 10 years went by. Dude was about 15. He was getting started young. Like, everybody in the village got started right after that war. I'm like, dang, Naruto, you must have had kids like this. Everybody must have got started because I'm like, those kids about 10 years old. So, <laughs> I'm like, wow, y'all started young. Now, I don't get why is Guy Sensei in a wheelchair. I'm 25. Guy Sensei and Kakashi were about 25. 10 years go by, I'm only going to be about 35. So, they're only 35. Why are they that old? I'm, I'm hopefully not going to be like that at 35. I'm like, I mean, maybe ninja life is hard. But Dag, he was like, oh, us old timers. No, you are not that old. Are you kidding me? Why? I mean, Guy Sensei, really, he's like the most coolest dude ever. He was feeling the spirits of youth. Dag, is, is that what the end of spirits of youth gets you? Cripples? <laughs> I don't get that. I, I, would not, I would prefer to see them still vibrant and bright and doing well or make more time go by make it 20 years from now 20 years maybe but uh but five, 10 really no they should not look like that and we still don't get to see kakashi's face <laughs> but that was not a big deal for me I, I don't mind keeping him a mystery uh 
Lee has a black haired child. Uh, if the child's hair is black, it kind of looks just like a spin image of Lee. As I've seen on other forums, this could be another adopted kid. Like Guy Sensei kind of adopted Lee into his fold. Maybe Lee adopted another really good ninja kid into his fold. Or it could be his son with maybe Ten Ten. I'm kind of hoping it's with Ten Ten. Uh, I will see, but I mean, she has black hair. He has black hair. I don't know. But, um, yeah, it was, uh, who else had some kids? Like, everybody had kids. Uh, <laughs> it just would seem. I'm going to say it's probably not Ten Ten because she was still running her weapon shop. So, who knows? Uh, I'm trying to remember, like, right now, it was a lot. It was a lot. Okay, another issue I had with it. I did not like that Bolt was a troublemaker. Bolt, like, Naruto was a troublemaker because he wanted attention. Like, everybody in the village treated him bad, and he worked his butt off and became Hokage. He actually did it. I was so happy that he became Hokage. But Bolt is doing it because he's like a spoiled, like, he's a spoiled Hokage son. Like, because I'm the Hokage son, I'm going to be a jerk. I don't like that. All right, I'm like, what, Bolt? No, I don't like it. And also, where is any of Hinata's features? Like, he, he's like just Naruto. Like, <laughs> I would have loved if he had the Byakugan. Like, that would have been awesome. If he had the blonde hair, the big smile at Naruto, but had the, the blind-looking eyes, the Byakugan came. Or at least give it to the girl. Make the girl hair blonde, you know, but with no Byakugan. Make the boy with, like, maybe Naruto's face, but with purple hair. But instead, it was just Naruto. I'm like, really? I feel like Hishimoto was kind of like, oh, new new series. I don't want to be over yet. I don't want to, I want to sum this up, but I want a new series real fast. New Naruto. I'm like... Dude, you could have made him look a little differently. Where's, where's any, <laughs> you know, any uh, Hinata? And Sakura's kid looks more like Kyrene, really. I mean, it looks like Nar Sakura's kid looks like Sasuke went out and was with Kyrene with the glasses, and only she was missing was the red hair and teeth. I mean, really, it was not, it was no traces of Sakura. I would at least give her a pink stripe. I mean, give her some, give her some crazy look to her, or give her Sakura's big green eyes or whatever. You know, something. But I wouldn't have made her a, a spitting image of Sasuke. It's like the writer always kind of wanted Naruto and Sasuke to be a couple. And so he's going to make uh, Sakura's kid Solid look all the way like Sasuke. And have it all the way like Naruto. So that as that time goes on, Sasuke and Naruto coming together. You know, it kind of felt like that for me. I feel like, you know, you kind of liked the dad's romance. But Jane wanted to make Naruto and Sasuke like that. But you wanted it to happen in their kids. So I can kind of see how that's like the writing on the wall. That's going to happen. It's going to happen, you know, if they ever come back. Big old crazy romance between Naruto's kid and Sakura's uh, kid. So, yeah, I don't know. It was a lot of cool stuff going on. And also, my baby Gara. I love Gara. But by the way, I was a huge Gara fan. I was. I still am. I freaking love Gara. I was Gara for Halloween. <laughs> yeah, a couple of uh, years ago, about, I think, 2007. But um, I love Gara. Why I tried to do him like that? Like, first of all, he ain't getting nobody at the end, which made me happy, kind of, because I've been kind of jealous. <laughs> <laughs> I'm such a fan, but he ain't get nobody. Then number two, his own grandkids are, are scared of him, and I was like, really? Gara has been sitting there looking scary, and his hair is awful. Oh, by the way, I hate all their hair. Like Naruto's hair is too short. Gara's hair is slicked. I don't know what that was, but um, that was not good. We're like, why you gotta change the main characters? Like Sai looked the same, and uh, what's the name? Shikamaru looked the same. You know, oh, Choji look good, though. I love Choji's wife. I'm like, go ahead, Choji. He got the um that pretty girl from the, the Thunder Clan. And her kid, like, I liked it, their kid, because uh, they was like, they was going to try to do the same thing to Choji. They, like, they tell you to um, Choji, like, oh, you're fat. And back in the day, he used to blow up and get upset or hurt his feelings, where they told her, his little daughter, oh, you're fat. And she was like, yep, so what? Deal with it. And I was like, go ahead, girl. Because, like, she didn't let being called fat bother her. She's, like, going to be a stronger version of her dad. Like, her dad was kind of weak throughout the um, series, but I can really see Choji's daughter, like, she's probably po more powerful or probably even the leader of their group. So I think it's really cool. And size kid with Eno <laughs> looks pale and terrible. Their kid looks a mess. But, um, yeah, it's, it's, I'm looking forward to seeing that more so. But, uh, yeah, I, I feel like, why did do Gara like that? Uh, Gara's own uh, nephew is scared. Like, oh, like, is, is Uncle King Kuro here? And I was really hoping that he would have a sweet relationship with his nephew because, like, Gara was, Gar was raised by his uncle. And I was hoping that he would maybe, like, you know, raise, you know, his, like, be a better uncle to his grand, you know, his, not grand, because his uh, nieces and nephews. Instead, he's scared of them. I'm like... 
you know, I have to do Gara like that, but, <laughs> you know, I didn't, I don't think Gara should have anybody at the moment, because he kind of, we got to see his whole, like, he had to learn how to love people, and love other people, and love himself, actually love himself too much, but, like, he had to learn, but I'm like, so I think rushing him into a relationship would have been kind of a bad idea, so that was a good idea to keep him single, but I think they should have made him but like he progressed more, you know, not so spooky. Like make him, you know, make him a little bit more like like he loves his grandkids and like they love him back. I don't know. I just think that he should have a better ending because we've seen the struggle that Gar is going through all this time and to leave him kind of the same. I was like hoping for a little bit more with him. But um, was it perfect? No. But was it better than most anime endings? A hundred percent yes. I have watched so much anime. I mean, the last time... I watched Inuyasha. They were still looking for the jewel shards. And I'm like, oh, I was done. Like, okay, I think I exploded again. I'm done. Um, you know, I don't know about the rest of them, but, like, uh, so many animes and mangas just end so weird. Or, or they, like, kind of say, oh, we're going to be a relationship. It's going to be a relationship. And, like, no relationship. This had all of the parents we've always wanted to see. This even had the kids. This had everything you would want in an anime ending, and I hope more animes take this format and give us a freaking conclusion. So I loved it. It gets a 10 out of 10 for me, and uh, I would definitely recommend reading it and checking it out yourself if you're a big Naruto fan, or at least if you was a big Naruto fan, because it was it was sweet. I felt I felt the feels. I felt them. I said, I'm gonna miss this. I felt I felt really I felt the feels, and I think they're coming out for another series, 2015. It'll be a little bit different. I think a movie as well, so we'll see how that goes. But yeah, I went through this review, and tell me in the comments what y'all think. Also, I am an author. Check out my own book. It's in the links below, and if you like what I do, don't forget to subscribe. Okay, guys. Bye.